Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Tech Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. This evening, we have a record for the furthest a guest has ever come to be on the show, and I'm sure he's just here for us. We have Irk all the way from Australia. G'day, Cammy. Really, really pleased to be here. It's just awesome to be in the Strange Love Live studio. Who would have thought? I'm so glad. Oh, my microphone is very hot. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad I'm here too. So, aside from the fact that you just happened to come from Australia, we're having you on the show because you yourself have not one, not two, not three, but four podcasts. Four podcasts, folks. Count them. And I have all of them right here on this handy little card. We have Irk Pod, which is news, talk, and more yep. with co-host Drew. Hi, Drew. Hi, Drew. Hi, boy. Um, and we have Irk FM, which is a variety of music styles, and it's a theme each week. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we have Echo Romeo Kilo, which is kind of your outdoors and out and about ambient noise and interview. And a certain Dr. Normal came with me for one yesterday mm -hmm. that's not out yet. Mm -hmm. And Blast from the Past, which is social history that you have you do with your mother. Hi, Mom. I'm on TV. Hi, Eric's Mom. When did you start podcasting? I started podcasting in May 2007, so I'm coming up to my two-year anniversary. It's roughly May 22nd. Oh. And who would have thought that I'd be sitting here in the United States uh, talking with you almost two years later? That's pretty awesome. What inspired you to start? Which one was your first one? Well, actually, I called it IrkPod, but mm -hmm. there was a Big Brother special, Big Brother Australia special, mm -hmm. which I called rather with an imaginative title called Irk to the Diary Room. <laughs> and I basically did that. I had no idea what I was doing to start with. And I just started with a little um, he headset mic and a little um, voice recorder. Mm -hmm. And I just recorded onto that for a while. And then as things kept going, I found that I was enjoying this podcasting thing. And then I decided, well, Big Brother's over now. What am I going to do? So from about IrkPod episode 35, I started talking about news and current affairs and weird and wacky stuff that was in the news, stuff happening to me, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And how often do you release, we'll, we'll just go by podcast, how yeah. often do you have an IrkPod episode out? Now, I like to do it basically once a week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a shift worker and so is my co-host Drew. Mm -hmm. But we, we aim for once a week. Mm -hmm. But there's no set schedule like, we don't have a set schedule like you do, like 10, 10 p.m. on a Friday night. Yeah, We just have to work it on when we can get together sort of thing. And what about um, the history the history show with your mom? That does have a set schedule. Mm -hmm. The episodes for that are re released in Australia mm -hmm. on Saturdays. Every Saturday? Every, every Saturday. Except for one week where I was a peanut and I forgot to upload the show before I came <laughs> over. <laughs> what about Echo, Echo Romeo? Echo Romeo Kilo is basically when I feel the need to or if I find a new subject to do. So that's not on a set schedule. That one actually started as a result of NAPOD POMO, National Podcasting Post Month, last November, which we ended up calling Nana Poo Poo mm -hmm. for short. And that's how we met you guys. That's exactly. We met, that's how we met a lot of podcasters, but we really became enamored with Irk and with Drewy and with yeah. Ben. Yeah. Hi, guys. And, uh, <laughs> and now you're here. Exactly, I'm I'm here. Um, I did I didn't bring the rest of the crew. No. Uh, but but I'm here and and the guys are um having a having a break and mm -hmm. lots of in, lots of interesting stuff happening in the background. But I will be back in Australia at the start of June, mm -hmm. and then who knows what's going to happen. I'm going to have lots of stories. But then again, I am podcasting around America, so a lot of the stories you'll hear on the podcast. And I won't have to tell you when I get back. You are. Now, without giving away too much, because we want everyone to go and listen to the episodes. Sure. Um, this is a podcasting tour of the United States. It is. And you started down in California. Yeah, down in, down in Los Angeles. And then to Nevada. Yeah, that's right. I 
went up to see my friend Sean and Jen from Hyper Nonsense, hypernonsense.com, mm-hmm. and I saw them. And then I went up and saw David and Tali from Flying Squirrel Media, mm-hmm. and they were in Monterey. Then I went to San Francisco, did a couple of interviews with San Francisco people mm-hmm. across the Reno. Mm-hmm. Sp- spoke with Grammar Girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was rather excited <laughs> about that one. Forgot what episode number I was recording with her. And then we shot across to Idaho and, and saw a friend of mine, Tigger, who I met via the podcast as well. Mm-hmm. And here I am with you and Dr. Normal. Mm-hmm. And you've been here, you've been in town since Wednesday night? That sounds that sounds about right. I think I'm thinking it is T- Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. You know, it was Tuesday night. It was. You're right. Fantastic. It's it's been a long week, Cammy. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. It's been fun. It's it just, has. It's been kind of a crazy week, and we're being the world's worst tour guides. Of <laughs> 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 we're doing a horrible job because we're trying to do everything that we have to do and take you around, which includes. Uh, Foster's Trucks and uh, Foster Street, but the Foster, what? it's not Street, it's Foster Avenue, Foster, Foster Road? Foster Road, that sounds familiar. Foster Road. Foster Road. It took me a long time to get beautiful there. Beautiful Foster Road. Beautiful Southeast Foster. Um, But that's not, what inspired you to do this grant? Oh, two months? I'll be in the States for two months. How it basically started was that I was at a birthday party with my friend Squeak, who makes appearances on ERCPOD, mm-hmm. and we were at Hooters one night, and we were talking about, wouldn't it be so great to do like a national tour of Hoot- national tour of the United States sponsored by Hooters, and we'd go around and um, go to various Hooters restaurants and see various podcasting friends that I've developed, mm-hmm. and that was a That was July last year, and I've put it on the back burner. And then towards the end of last year, November, December last year, I thought, well, why don't I just go ahead and do it? I've got a lot of of leave owing. I've got, like, long service leave from the railways and that sort of thing. And so why don't I I do it? See some of the touristy sites and see some of my friends as well. So it's been really awesome. How many podcasters are on your list of people to see? I haven't confirmed a total list yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got some other podcasters um, on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. I've got three podcasters on the way to the East Coast. Mm-hmm. And then I've got some on the way back. And I'm also hoping to speak to a couple of Pottier book authors as well. Very cool. So that that will be really good. I might even be at Balticon. Um, at Balticon. What is that? Um, that's basically a sci-fi convention oh. on, on the East Coast in mid-May. I'm hoping to get to that, but we'll see. Very cool. After tonight, I basically have no plans except for when Uncle Sam wants me to be back on the plane to Australia. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, you do have plans to go to Hooters tomorrow, but... Yeah. <laughs> so how many Hooters have you been to since you got to the States? I've only been to one. And you've been here how long? Uh, this is my third week today, exactly. One Hooters in three weeks. One Hooters. It's, it's not good. It's not good, is it? It's kind of maybe. Did you map out where all the Hooters were? That was a hard. That was hard, actually. Mm-hmm. In Australia, it's pretty simple. In Sydney itself, where I come from, we only have one that's open, so that's mm-hmm. not very hard. Well, I know you talked with Brian today. He said there was a Hooters up in Seattle. Or in the Seattle area? Yeah. So that'll be three, that'll hopefully? Be, that'll be three. And I'm hoping to be going out with um, T. Morris, the podcaster and author. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll be going to Hooters on, on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to that. He's an, and we heard he's that an there's awesome a good guy. one in San Antonio as well. Yes, we, we, we did hear one that it was very good. It had a very nice view, mm-hmm. apart from the obvious. <laughs> I don't. I don't think there's any bad Hooters, and people ask me, you know, "Why do I go to to Hooters?" Mm-hmm. Apart, and apart from the obvious, they always ask about the food, expecting the food not to be good. But the food is actually not too bad at Hooters. Very, it's, cool. it's pretty good, and you'll find out tomorrow night. I've never been before. This will be my first time. I'm very excited. And we're going to have to do a <laughs> roll call before we get back in the Doctor Normal Mobile. Otherwise, we might find Cammy missing. 
Yeah, I think that's very nice. They're afraid that they're going to lose me to Hooters. Okay, so you've done your podcast. You, how many, how much time have you recorded since you've got to the States? Three weeks. You've interviewed a bunch of people. I know you interviewed a bunch of people this evening. Yeah. How many people? At Beer and Blog. At beer, yeah, we took them to Beer and Blog. Beer and like Blog. Like you do. Beer and Blog was awesome. I've got about 30 minutes of audio so far. I didn't get to speak to everyone. Yeah. But I've got 30 minutes of audio from there, so that's so that's very good. I've probably recorded about 10 hours worth of audio so far out of that out of that three week period since I've been here. And how much of that? Because you don't um, air live. No, that's correct. You record. Do you edit much of it, or do you play a lot of it as it is? Most of it, I play where it is. Mm -hmm. I play how it is. If it's, for instance, this particular interview, and if I was doing the editing apart, and how, Dr. Normal's doing the editing for this episode, but if I was doing the editing, there wouldn't be very much at all. There'd just be like sound levels and and everything like that. Yeah. Because I like to keep my interviews basically as they were as they were recorded, One piece. and that's basically how I record ERCPOD. Sometimes when it comes to things like Echo Romeo Kilo, mm -hmm. sometimes I might, because I might be on a train, and so I might bump the record button mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so I might have to put several files together for that one. So what do you think is the most difficult part of podcasting? You produce four shows, you get them all out on a at least a semi-regular basis. Does FM come out once a week as well? FM comes out every week at the end of the week. So you have three shows that come out weekly and one that comes out whenever. That's a lot of content to produce. It, it is. It is. And what I mainly do, on my days off, I'll record at least ERC FM mm -hmm. and Blast from the Past. Sometimes with ERCPOD, I might record before or after work. That depends on when Drew and I can get together. Mm -hmm. But we've with Oak FM, we've blast from the past. That's pretty easy to set aside an hour or so for the show because each of those shows goes between about forty five minutes and an hour. Mm -hmm. Echo might be somewhere between thirty and sixty minutes, depending mm -hmm. on, on what I do. And ERCPOD can be between 45 and 90 minutes, just depending on how much we talk and how many tangents we go down and, and that sort of thing. Are there any other podcasting adventures that you work on? Are there any other things that you do? I am on a lot of social networks, for instance, for instance Twitter. I've got two accounts on Twitter. I Go follow ERCPOD. And is it, what was the other one? And Cha Channel Irk is, Channel the other Irk. Irk is the other one. And if you want to find any of his podcasts, you can go to channelirk.com and it will have the listing for all four of his shows. That's right. You can subscribe to each show individually. For instance, you might not like the music that I play. I try and play a wide range of music and I actually am having a jazz special coming up with John that Nestos. I'll be recording. John Nestos, when mm -hmm. I... When I return home, I'll be recording that particular episode, and that was inspired by you having him on your show. Mm -hmm. so, He's a lovely guest. So that that was it's rather John that was Nastos, rather cool. Jan PDX on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So that that was rather cool. And where do you get so? Like I said before, it's so much content. Yeah. I don't know. I'm getting funny, funny faces from Dr. Normal. Um, it's so much content. Where do you get the ideas for all of that? Because, I mean, we produce one show every week and we, we get our guest and we do our thing and it's happy, but it's so much content. With ERC FM, what I, what I will do is I'll set aside a theme. For instance, while I've been in America, I've pre actually pre-recorded the ERC FM shows. Mm -hmm. So they will come out automatically while I'm here as will the blast from the past shows. So those are done. So those are done in the can. They will drop automatically when I've when I've set them to. And for Irk FM, I'll do a set I'll do a set theme mm -hmm. each week. One week I might do jazz, one week I might do metal, rock, and I'm actually in the middle of an Americana theme, considering after all that I'm here 
in America, so I thought I'd find some Americana songs. And that in itself is a wide range. Blast from the Past, my mum drives that in terms of the content. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of along for the ride with that? I'm basically doing what Dr. Normal does for you. Okay. And she'll come up with the content. She has pages and pages of notes of things that she wants to talk about. And we'll talk about a set subject each time, for instance... She spoke about the time that she used to work in a telephone exchange with the different wires where you plug one cord into another An operator. An an operator, that's right. And so she spoke about that time. And then we contrasted the operators of her day compared to the operators of today. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the content for that comes from her. Very cool. Whereas ERC FM, um, sorry, ERC Pod, a lot of it is driven by what's happening in the media. Mm-hmm. We'll find things online. Some listeners will send us some information. And sometimes it's as simple as I'll come home from work and I'll grab the free newspaper that we get on the train on the way home and then I'll have that and I'll find an article or two and we'll read that. So I want to I wanna go back. There's... It's Nanopodmo is the actual, not Nano. It's Nanopupu is Nanopodmo. Is that right? Yeah. Because there's Nanopodmo and there's Nanoblogmo and there's Nanorimo. And I did Nanorimo one year and I tried to do it while you were all doing Nanopodmo. And I had to give it up because I was doing uh, the Ignite presentation and Dr. Normal was doing Nanopodmo. And there's just too much Nano happening. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to become involved with Nanopodmo and what was that like? Because then you made new content every day. Absolutely. What happened with that? I had no intention of actually taking part in the Podpomo. Mm-hmm. There was n- I had no interest of it in it at all. I was, at the time, I was only producing ERCPOD. Mm-hmm. Echo Romeo Kilo came as a result of it mm-hmm. and then earlier this year was ERC FM and then also... Um, blast from the past. So I only had ERCPOD to worry about at the moment. Sean A from Hyper Nonsense actually was was talking about it and I thought that that would be a really good opportunity for me to produce daily content Mm -hmm. but also to encourage some of the other people that are involved in what we call the ERCPOD family or the ERCPOD community Mm -hmm. to become involved as well. And then I offered some of the boys to see if they actually wanted to produce a podcast as well. So I was pro- I was producing a show, which was Echo Romeo Kilo, mm-hmm. and I was aiming for an interview a day for the 30 days, and I think I made it to about day 20, Wow, which was pretty cool. But I did put out all the shows, but the last 10 or so didn't have an interview. Mm-hmm. And there was also some things where I took... Uh, my recording gear to work and I recorded some things on the train. Mm-hmm. I went on ferry rides, I went on bus rides and that's how basically Echo was born. I encouraged Drew, my co-host, to have a show mm-hmm. and himself and Ben, the podcast trader, um, they ended up producing the um, the November Adventure Show, mm-hmm. uh, which, which they still do. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we had Orange Tim, who was doing the dispatches from Agent Orange, Mm -hmm. and he's actually in the process of relaunching his podcast. He put out an episode the other day. And we also had Squeak, um, and he did a podcast for November. Mm -hmm. So out of those three guys, Drew and Tim have still continued their podcasts. Nice. um, After that. And it was my intention to show them some of the the behind-the-scenes things that I do, for instance, editing, show notes, uploading shows, and all that sort of thing. So they they learnt a lot about that and podcast production and and also interacting with their audience and that sort of thing. Speaking of show notes, we've got something interesting going on um, on Strange Love Live. Uh, Dr. Normal has always been very envious of your show notes because we do not have show notes. You write your own show notes. I write the show notes when I'm editing. Yeah. I will actually, even though I know that there's not a lot to edit, mm-hmm. I will I will go back because I don't have time to talk, look at content, interact with Drew, mm-hmm. um, and do show notes live. Yeah. I, I can't do all that. 
And I can't do show notes. And no. He has his hands full. And so when I edit, I'll go back and I'll write my show notes basically in point form. So because you have your show notes and they're so good and we are too lazy and too busy to do our own show notes, we talked to Mark Dilly at About Us. And I hope Dr. Normal has it up on the screen right now for it our is up video. on the screen. If you go to that website, that wiki page. For our listeners, aboutus.org slash strangelovelive.com. You can go and create and edit show notes for each episode of Strange Love Live. During so the show, desire. after the show, whenever. You can go right now. Even if you're not listening to it live, you can go and do it right this second. doesn't matter when I'm saying this. You can still do it. So when people ask... What was said in the chat room last week or whatever? Well, you know what? You can cut and paste it into the wiki. So please go and give us show notes. That's what we really want for our birthday, which we're not having right now. But, you know, you guys are all late on celebrating our birthday. So well, give us show notes. 100 is coming up pretty soon here. Yes. So my next question, are you planning to do Nano Poo Poo again this year? I actually haven't given it a lot of thought. I, I, like, just... how, I like how she's adopted the the vernacular that you, you guys pushed off you know, on that. The year before when I did NaNoWriMo, I couldn't say NaNoWriMo, so I called it George. I think it's good <laughs> to give it a new name. I think it's great. I actually haven't given it much thought, Cammy. I'm just trying to get through this trip. and <laughs> That's November. That's a long way away. It is a long way away. Dr. Normal, are you planning to do Nano Poo Poo? I would like to do it again. I mean, I, I think that uh, the great thing... What I really appreciated um, in participating in it was meeting you guys and mm -hmm. meeting other podcasters and um, making myself aware of um, what was going on in podcasting. We should also mention that a couple Portlanders participated, um, Baron Landscape, of uh, his yes. Broken Hours podcast. Do you, do you um, he's out in St. John's. I do not, um, but I know that if he's going to RS. It, you'll find it. Yeah, he's on... Uh, Twitter. I need to find his Twitter Twitter ID. I follow him, and um, and there was a one episode or two episodes with the uh, podcast hotel Alex uh, H Williams. I as didn't well. know Alex did that. I yeah. didn't know he did the. Yeah, he didn't do it a, a weekly, but he did. You know, they were all up there in St. John's doing that St. John's mm -hmm. thing. You know, so very cool. And we also had you on our round table in yes. no in November to celebrate the end of Nana Poo Poo. That was exciting and, and kind of strange because I was new to the whole thing and I hadn't quite figured out who all of you were yet. And so I was sitting there trying to, what? Why are you making the face? I was just laughing at something I typed in the chat room. Oh, okay. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> not move along, people. Nothing to say. So here. I was trying to figure it all out and, and Dr. Normal had been so excited the entire month. I had my own crazy stuff going on that month and Dr. Normal had been excited the entire time about everything going on with the podcast and about finding you guys and he just was so thrilled and so he was absolutely excited to go and do this and he was like you have to come out and do it you have to come i can't yeah. i can't talk because i'm not the talker you have to come talk and i had a really good time and i learned about bunny yes you did you did learn about bunny and for anyone who doesn't listen to erkpod we've got a little nabaz tag wi-fi bunny we shamelessly stole the idea from hyper nonsense <laughs> because they had their their buddy Bunya on one of the round tables and we thought oh yeah I like, I like that idea that sounds cool so we got our own bunny called Anastasia Anastasia the bunny and that is say, say that again slowly because it took me forever to type it in Nab Nabaz tag Nabaz tag it's a it's like an electronic bunny that lights up it's a French it's a French company called Violet and it's a Wi-Fi bunny Right, the ears move. It lights up. It it's goes really through Wi-Fi. You can buy outfits yeah. for it. Yeah, it um, it I downloads news, and you can send messages to it, and then it it uses voice. And you can change voice its box. voice. You you can change its voice. Sometimes she'll change her voice, and sometimes she'll come through as a man, mm -hmm. and sometimes she'll come through as a woman, which is a bit disconcerting, considering <laughs> that I called her Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little bit disturbing. Do you? How often do you do the round table? we actually got the round table on hiatus at the moment basically because of the America trip mm -hmm. and I felt that it needed a rest after the end of last year. Mm -hmm. However, we used to do it basically on the last weekend of every month mm -hmm. and we did 12 round tables. And this is the part that I find fascinating. Tell everyone how long the round tables are. It's just not simple. a simple 30 minutes uh, like we're doing here. 
depending on the content later on, our th I think our final tally was just on six hours. Yeah, six hours. A six hour. Po I know. <laughs> When we, when we had you guys on, I think that was about five, and you guys came right at the end. I was just right going to say hour four yeah, or we hour five. You came right at the end, but that's the one of the things that I encouraged with the round table. Mm -hmm. Some people sat through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Some people came for the opening, and then they went. You guys came at the end because we have not only Australian people on, we also have American people on, and we've also had some people on from the UK and mm -hmm. from Ireland as well. Mm -hmm. And we've actually had a couple of guys, um, g'day to Jim and also to Steve, and they basically pulled an all-nighter um, listening to and participating in one of the round tables, and which was awesome. that's aired live? That's aired live. Pretty, pretty similar setup. Or it was. Oh, it was. Yeah. Pretty similar to the sort of setup that, that you've got with your show. But only audio. No, we were doing video as oh, well. Oh, you were. See, I was just yeah, think, listening to it as yeah. we recorded. I didn't watch. Yeah, there was issues at the time we were we were doing it. You know those pesky video streams? Yeah. 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 And we weren't using the provider that you were using, so. Yeah. So uh, t just tell us, uh, you, you visited, uh, I threw a couple of graphics up there. You visited Shano and Jen of Hyper Nonsense. That's right. They're in beautiful downtown San, San Luis Obispo. Obispo. Yes. I could never say that name of that place when I first started. And... I have a friend that lives in San Luis Obispo. And then, um, and then after that, um, I put the graphic up on the screen earlier. You met um, and sat down and had lunch with and uh, interviewed a uh, grammar girl. Now, that that was an awesome interview. We were in Reno, which, according to the sign, is the biggest little city in the world. <laughs> and I later found out that that was the result of a competition to have a slogan for the Reno sign in the 1920s. And so one local resident basically came up with the idea, why don't we put Reno, the biggest little city in the world? And that was back in the 1920s. And so I met up with Grandma Girl. We had lunch. And we had about an hour and a half chat. And then I told her the length of my interviews. And she said, well, we better start now. <laughs> but it was very, very surreal. I'd been listening to her for about 18 months. Mm -hmm. And we were walking from this casino in Reno. And I was staying at the Circus Circus. I didn't know the Circus Circus was still open. In, in Reno, not in Vegas. Oh. The Reno one's open. Okay. Cammy's easily confused. It's all right. So we walked from the Circus Circus and we did a bit of a locals tour of Reno and mm -hmm. it was snowing. Now, for you guys here in <laughs> North America, snowing's not a big deal. But for an Aussie guy who doesn't live in an Alpine region, it is a big deal. Was that your first snow? It, it actually was the first time that I'd been walking through the snow. Mm-hmm. I had seen snow on the ground, mm -hmm. and this is the funny thing. The, the very first snow that I saw live was actually in Tasmania in December, mm -hmm. which is in the middle of our summer. Wow. I'd, That's really bizarre. I'd been to a Christmas party the night before. I had about 12 Southern Comforts and Co. <laughs> and then the lady that I was staying with had a bright idea and said, let's go for a bushwalk the day after the Christmas party. So I said, uh, oh, okay. Wow. And then I saw snow. That's bizarre. But I saw snow on the way to Reno and yeah. and also on the way to Idaho. And there's a few photos on my Flickr page of me throwing snowballs around and writing my name in the snow and all that sort of fun stuff that you'd probably take for granted. And, yeah. up, and up in Idaho, you met with the Ticker, right? That, that's correct. Who you also met through Nano Padmo. Correct, I think. Actually, how, how that started was we were on a round table and Drew sent me, I think he sent me a message on Skype or in the chat room, can we can we bring Tigger in? And I'm like, okay, cool. No, not, not a problem. You know, if you're the co-host, if you think that that's a good idea, why not? And so we did and we had a nice chat. Uh, she's a veteran, retired US Navy. And we had a bit of a chat, and I've just spent four of the best days in Idaho just driving around, uh, seeing the sights, um, having ice cream, um, <laughs> getting told off for just having chocolate ice cream. And having Brazilian, I think if I 
pronounce this right, Cachaceria, I believe, the uh, Brazilian barbecue. It's a con ice. Yeah. All right, well, we are starting to, to get on the time, but I want two things. Um, Dr. Norrell, what is the hashtag for, for Irk's Euro, uh, European adventure, well, American adventure? Hang on. Am I going on a European adventure <laughs> that I don't know anything about? Are you paying for this, Cammy? Sure. He, he's, the Chevy, <laughs> he's the Chevy chase of the what, 2000s, right? What's the hashtag? Right? It's Irk US09? Um, E-R-K, or 09. Yeah. E R K U S zero nine. Although there's some confusion because someone else actually posted another hashtag. So yeah, it's 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 actually, my show. I'll uh, use your hashtag. <laughs> actually, I was. We got to tackle this first. I wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a hashtag or not. Actually. Well, you have a hashtag now. So if you see Irk out and about, if you get to spend time with him, if you have Irk U S zero nine adventure stories or tweets, make sure you hashtag them. E-R-K-U-S-0-9. For the win. For the win. All right. Uh, wow, the tech episode is over. <laughs> there's the... <laughs> that was very short. There's the music. There's, there's the music. More. But I need you to join us next week, uh, either live in person or on the stream. We're going to be broadcasting from Bar Camp at Cube Space. Uh, we'll be one hour early next week. We'll be starting the show at 9 o'clock and going until... Whenever. When, when we're Who done. Knows? Yep. Yeah, when we're finished. So, uh, yeah, join us next week at Bar Camp. It was lovely talking to you, Irk. I hope everyone stays tuned for After Hours where we're you going to talk about... You won't want to miss After Hours. No, there's going to be some, some brilliant stuff happening in After Hours. That's all I can say. Good night, everybody. That's not joining us later. <laughs> <laughs> They'll all good join us later. <laughs> that, that was yes. not a good ending. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>